Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Who is excited? Me! Are you sure? Yes! Okay, so the theme of our workshop is I will never backslide because... Because what? So, before we start, let us pray first. Hallelujah, O God, Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, O God, in Jesus' name. We thank you, O God, Lord, for this day, O God, in Jesus' name, that you gathered us again, O God, Lord, in your presence, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, God, Lord, for all the blessings, O God, for protection, O God, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, O God, Lord, for what you are about to do today, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord. We bind every plan, tactics of the enemy, O God, to distract us, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord, to come against us today, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord. Every lack of concentration, O God, every lack of focus, we bind it, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord. And we command every demon right now to shut up in Jesus' name. We command every demon right now, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, to go away, O God, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord, use my life today, O God, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord, to preach your word, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, to share my testimony, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. Holy Spirit, lead me, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit. Have your way today, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, use me as your vessel, O God. Use me as, as an instrument today, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. It is not me, O God, Lord, but you, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, only you will be glorified today, O God, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bind every work of the flesh. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you for everything, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, we bring back all the highest praise honor, glory, and thanksgiving to you alone. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So again, the theme of our workshop is, I will never backslide because. Because what? So backsliding from the Lord is the worst thing that we could do in our life. Backsliding means abandonment of faith or duty in the Lord or falling back into sin again or error. Have you experienced backsliding from the Lord? I'm sure most of us had already experienced this. Not reading our Bible, not praying, having no intimate relationship with God is already an act of backsliding. Not preaching the Word of God, not praying for the sick is an act of backsliding. Because the Bible says that we should preach the Word of God. We'll pray for the sick. So why is it an act of backsliding? Why? It is because we disobeyed God, right? We became rebellious. We make excuses. And disobedience, rebellion, and excuse-making are also backsliding. As I've said earlier, backsliding is abandonment of faith or duty. It means when we are not reading our Bible or not praying, having no uh, connection with God, we abandon or neglect our faith or duty to the Lord. Because it says in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 that we should meditate the Word of God day and night. So when we abandon or neglect our faith, we have this pride spirit within us also, right? Because if we are not praying anymore, if we are not reading our Bible, it's like we are just leaning on our own understanding. We are just leaning on our own self. We are just depending on our, in our own self. It's like we are showing that, oh, I didn't, need, I didn't need to pray anymore. I didn't need to read my Bible anymore. It's like we are saying that I'm not going to read my Bible today or right now. I already attended the service earlier, so we became complacent, right? So without God, our life would be miserable, meaningless, worthless. Do you agree? Because most of us 
uh, already experienced life without God, right? So I've already experienced life without God when I'm still in the world. My life is so miserable. I'm not reading my Bible, not praying, having no intimate relationship with God, going to the disco, watching nonsense things, watching pornography, had been involved in gambling, and many wicked things that could not really glorify God. So I'm so broken, wounded, lack of love, and many more. So the reason also that we backslide from the Lord is because uh, we have this uh, self-will in ourselves. We just follow our own desire, right? So I've been in this ministry for more than four years. I saw signs, wonders, and miracles of God. Not just to myself, but to many people. I hear the still small voice, experience healing of God, but I received a lot of attacks also in my walk with God. It came to the point that I backslidden, or I backslide from, the, from God, and I just want to give up. And in that backsliding state of my life, I'm, I'm reading the Bible, but I'm still reading the Bible, but I couldn't understand. I'm praying, but I'm always distracted. I cannot feel the presence of God. I was so dry, no excitement, and it happens to me for how many times? But God really cares for me and loves me so much. It's like He's calling me to come back to Him. And to those who backslide, God is calling you to come back to Him. So let's go to Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. Verse 12, Go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, and I will not cause my, mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. 13, Only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God and has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. 14. Torn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So we are so blessed that we are here in this ministry because we have this uh, dedicated uh, leader, teacher. And who is really commit committed to the Lord. So it says in verse 14 that, uh, verse 13, only acknowledge thine iniquity. So if all we have to do is to acknowledge our, our iniquity, our sin, we have to ask forgiveness to the Lord. Because it says also in His Word that uh, if we commit our, our sins to the Lord, He's faithful to forgive us, right? It says in verse 14 that, O backsliding children, I am married unto you. So we are married to Jesus Christ. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will, I will bring you to Zion. So God doesn't want us to turn away from Him. He doesn't want us to go to hell because He loves us. He cares for us. 
So why did God call us? Why we are here right now? Why, why you are sitting there right now? It's because of the grace of God. It's because of the mercy of God upon our life. If not because of His love, if not because of His mercy, we are not here right now. I am not here right now. I can still remember in the time that I boxed him from the Lord, where I cannot really feel, feel His presence. I'm reading his word, but I couldn't understand because I am full of myself. I focus on my problem. I focus on my trials. I focus on the things that could not help me, that could not glorify God. But just like what it says here that O oh, backsliding children, I am married unto you. So I could really feel the love of God because even though that time that I'm not faithful, I became not faithful to Him, but still His love is there for me. So, the theme of this 2024 workshop, I will never backslide because it's very challenging. It is very challenging, right? Because if we preach here, we really have to stand on what we preach. It's not just like we're just preaching here because it's our responsibility, something like that. But we have to stand also on what we preach here. Because one day, <clears throat> one day, the people or the enemy will, I mean, the people will gonna ask us, oh, you preached before about backsliding, you will never backslide, something like that. But now, what happened to you? Something like that. So this thing reminds me of those people who are also from God and the kind of of life they had right now. So I know someone who used to share the Word of God before, and he had been in a Bible school also. But their church doesn't have deliverance. It came to the point that he was leading from God and committed different kind of sin. He came back on his own sinful behavior, drinking alcohol, always angry, irritated, and many sinful acts. His marriage was even destroyed. His family was even destroyed, and he committed adultery. His life was really miserable. It is out of order. He had a living partner right now. They had a daughter, but their life is out of order. They are always arguing and fighting. So, because of that, I realized that I will never backslide again because life is mis miserable without God. And I know people also who used to attend my Bible study before because I have a Bible study before in our, in our province. I have ministry there, youth and children ministry. So, at first, they are really on fire. They got delivered, being touched by God. So even though their mother were against about it, they just continued. They disregarded it because they are hungry to the Word of God. They are hungry to, to hear the Word of God. But as the day passed and the persecution increases, and because of their little faith, so that's also the reason why we backslide sometimes because of our little faith. So they turned away from God and go back on their old sinful behavior. So every time I invited them to attend the Bible study, they refused. 
And their life right now is so miserable. It's really a mess. They were depressed, tormented, and broken. Had been involved in fornication, different kind of sin, drinking alcohol, something like that. So, I will never backslide again because I, because life is miserable without God. So because they backslid from the Lord, their life right now is out of order. It's really miserable. And there are some people who post on Facebook, Oh, I need you. I need you, Lord. I need you right now, Lord. Please help me. So some people just say that. Are just saying that. They just uh, call the Lord if they need some help. They just remember God when they, when they need something from Him. So I know someone also who used to come here before attending the service, being touched by God. And that person once preached here also. But that person backslid in from God. That person is always saying to come back here and attend the service. But that person didn't make it and always making excuses. There's something blocking that person not to come back here. And the life of that person right now is so miserable, depressed, and wanted to die. So I will never backslide because life is miserable without God. Can you write it on the board, please? Thank you. So the number one is, I will never backslide because life is miserable without God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I know someone also who served the Lord for how many years? Had been preaching here for a long time, uh, doing deliverance also, evangelizing, praying for the people, He's really serving the Lord for a very long time. But because of his own stuff that he is not yet delivered of, or he's not yet fully delivered of, he turned away from the Lord. <clears throat> and he even uh, and he even uh, making false stories, something like that, to other people, sharing false uh, stories to other people, gossiping, slander against the church, against the servant of God, against the children of God, something like that. And because of his pride also, because of his self-will, because he just followed his own desire, so, he never come back here. And just like, uh, I, just like what Chile said uh, yesterday, I don't know if, if that is the person also he, uh, she is referring. But uh, he cannot even also pass by outside the church or at the door of the church. So, you know that person also. Okay, the second point here is, I will never backslide because I know how it feels when the presence of God is gone. So number two, I will never backslide because I know how it feels when the presence of God is gone. Okay, so I know someone who is very close to me before. We always contact each other and talk about our battles. Encourage each other. So last 2020, during the pandemic, so because I've been staying in my province that time, so, so I could not uh, come here to church. So me, Wendy, and other youth, Kika and Mayang, so we are doing uh, this uh, Bible study every morning. So I could still remember that my mother is very, was very angry that time. 
She was really angry because that time is because that time I'm really on fire in serving the Lord. So this uh, woman, she's really on fire in serving the Lord that time, and she even woke up early just to join in on our online Bible study. Yes, we had online Bible online Bible study before. Then, after the, the pandemic, she came back here and attended the su Sunday service and some of our meetings also, just like Tuesday service, uh, Thursday. So, she once said that it's hard to balance God, family, and work, especially for her who is rebellious. Well, we have choice not to become rebellious, right? The only thing that we became rebellious is because of our self-will, our own fleshly desires, and our pride. Last year, she messaged me and told me her struggles. She said she just suddenly cried with, with no reasons. She could not understand why. So I kept praying for her. Keep, encourage, keep encouraging her because I pity her. But she must decide on herself also to come back to God. She needs to be involved, right? Because if I'm just the one who is praying for her and, and she herself is not, is not praying to God also and, and not doing her best to come back to God, nothing will gonna happen. She needs to be involved. After that conversation, I didn't hear anything from her. And it's sad because we used to share our testimonies to each other, and now it's gone. Even the presence of God, of God upon her life is gone. So I will never backslide again because I know how it feels when the presence of God is gone. So, it hurts that the people who are very close to us will turn away from God, right? For example, uh, your best friend will turn away from God. Or your husband, your wife will turn away from God. It hurts, right? And it hurts our, our teacher, that is, students, backsliding from the Lord. It hurts God when His people turned away from Him. So before when the youth and some of the kids that I'm teaching backsliding from the Lord or turned away from the Lord because some of them uh, live or transferred in another place so they cannot uh, attend the, my Bible study anymore. So there are just a few kids left in our area. So they turned away from the Lord and it hurts. I pity them and I keep praying for them until now. So just like our teacher, Sir James, he keep praying for us, that's why we are still here. He keep praying for us and we uh, ourselves, we put ourselves, I mean, uh, he is praying for us, and we pray for also for ourselves. That's why we are still here. So, if we are doing the work of God, or we are doing the things that can glorify God, God will become happy. Our teacher will become happy. Okay, as a testimony for me, <clears throat> Okay, testimony about the kid that I'm teaching. So when, when her grade is low, or when, when her grades are low, so it can affect me also. I will become sad, something like that, because it's like, oh, maybe I'm not teaching her well, something like that. Maybe I'm not doing my best to teach her, something like that. But when her grades are high, 
I'm happy also. So when, when she, when she is uh, successful, or she, yeah, when she's successful, I'm happy also. And just like Sir James, if he sees at the sees us that we are, um, we are uh, con we continue in serving the Lord. If we are doing the things that can glorify God, He's happy also. Most especially God, He's happy. So the more we backslide, the more life gets worse, seven times worse. And it says in the Bible also. And when we backslide from the Lord or we, we, in, when we turn away from the Lord, He will gonna put curse upon us, just like Adam and Eve. They disobeyed God. They became rebellious. So God put curse upon them. And just like the Israelites also, God has prepared, prepared something great for them. But because of their little faith, because they are so tired, more of complaining, murmuring, so they turn away from God. And there is a consequence of that. And also, to the life of Saul, in First Psalm chapter 16, verse 14, The spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. So, because he rejected the word of God or he disobeyed God, the Lord had rejected him also from being king over Israel. So there is always consequences when we turn away from the Lord. So the third point here is, I will never backslide because His fire burns within me. God always reminds me that when I backslide and die, I will really go to hell. All my efforts will end up into nothing. All my good, good works will not be remembered anymore. And it says also in the Bible, no matter how good you are to the people, it will not be remembered anymore if we backslide or if we turn away from God. So before when I am a beginner, so even though there's a lot of attacks, persecutions, I still keep going on serving God. So even though the enemy was desperate to stop me, I still keep going because the fire of God burns within me. That time when I was, I am still a beginner, when I was in, in our province. And I want that fire back. Do you want that fire back also? Just like the first time you encountered God. I want that boldness, boldness back. The boldness to preach the word of God. That even though the people is mocking you, even though the people is insulting you, you still preach the word of God because the fire of God burns within you. I want that excitement back, and it's only a decision. If you want that fire back, just like when we first encountered God, if we want that boldness and excitement back, we have to decide. There must be willingness in our hearts because if not, God will not going to help us also. God is looking into our hearts and actions, not on what's coming out of our mouth. Again, God is looking into our hearts and actions, not on what's coming out of our mouth. So, it's always a decision, my brothers and sisters. So, I will never backslide because His fire burns within me. The fourth point is, I will never backslide because I already saw and experience the signs, wonders, and miracles of God. Okay, do you see these testimonies? 
This is the miracles of God. Lot of testimonies here, right? So how can we afford to backslide if we already saw and experienced the miracles of God upon our life? For me, I already experienced the signs, wonders, and miracles of God upon my life. I never thought that I would claim to, to this situation, to this, yeah, to this situation right now that I'm going to preach the Word of God here because before, I'm all, all, only watching on YouTube. I'm only watching to the youth that preaching here. But right now, I am one of them. Praise the Lord. So I will never backslide because I already saw and experienced the signs, wonders, and miracles of God. So in this ministry, I saw people being delivered, being healed. Yeah, being healed from sicknesses, being delivered, being set free from the curses. And me, myself, experienced that also. And if the church uh, have no deliverance, it's like you're just, you, say, you are saying that you are serving the Lord, but it's like there's something lacking in your life. And most of the pastors right now uh, are mocking deliverance. They didn't believe in deliverance. Some people... We're gonna say, oh, what kind of church is that? Why, there's, they, why they are vomiting? Why they are yawning? Something like that. They wondered because they didn't really experience. They didn't experience the presence of God upon their life. They didn't experience the signs, wonders, and miracles of God upon their life. So the, the last point here is, I will never backslide because I am called to serve the Lord. Are you called also to serve the Lord? Yes. Okay, just like what it says in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4, 4 to 5. So we are all familiar with this scripture. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Okay, so, while we are still in, a, in our mother's womb, God already called us and ordained us. So, why do we backslide? Why, why are we going to backslide again? Right? Okay, so if we will just open our hearts to the Lord, He will gonna touch us today. Do you believe that God will do something great today? Because if your heart is not open, and you didn't believe that God will do something great today, or if you didn't believe that signs, wonders, and miracles will gonna happen today, nothing will gonna happen. We'll just sit there and nothing, just like other people who came here, just sitting. They, are, they didn't open their hearts so that they cannot feel also the presence of God. But we often, but we, when we open our hearts to the Lord, God will gonna touch us. Amen. If we humble ourselves also to the Lord, okay. If we humble ourselves to the Lord, He will gonna touch us. He will gonna heal us. Amen. Amen. So let's open our hearts at this very moment. Hallelujah, O oh God, Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, O oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, O oh God, Lord, for this day, O oh God. We thank you for your word, O oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O oh God, Lord. 
for the testimonies, O God, Lord, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord, because you said in your word also, O God, that this, this, there is power and testimony, O God, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, we humble down ourselves right now before you, O God, in Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, we open up our hearts, O God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, have your way in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord, touch every heart today, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, help us to open up our hearts, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord, help us, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, how we can connect to you, Father. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, we give you praise, we give you glory, O God, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O God, Lord, I bind every spirit right now. In Jesus' name, every backsliding spirit, leave the people of God. In Jesus' name. Live the people of God right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Live 100% in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, every thought of a backslider, live in Jesus' name. Every rebellion, in Jesus' name, come out 100% in Jesus' name. Every disobedience, in Jesus' name, live. Self-will, pride, in Jesus' name, live 100%. 100% in Jesus' name. 100% live right now in Jesus' name. Live the people of God in Jesus' name 100%. 100% in Jesus' name. 100% in Jesus' name. Let's worship, all, let's worship the Lord right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's position our minds, our hearts in Jesus' name. Set aside every trouble. Set aside your problems, your worries. Just give it to God right now. We are here right now to worship the Lord. We are here right now to praise the Lord. Not our own self, not our problems, not our troubles, not our trials. We are here for the Lord. Amen? And we are not here for the people also. We are here for the Lord. In Jesus' name, we give you praise, Father. In Jesus' name, you are, you are high and lifted up, O God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch every heart, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touch every heart right now, God, Lord. In Jesus' name. Pray, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. As an act of praise. As an act of faith, let us all stand and worship the Lord. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. So, as an act of faith, let's stand up. Let's raise our hands and worship the Lord from our hearts. Let's worship the Lord from our hearts, not just from our mouth. Hallelujah, God, Lord, we give you praise, Father. God, Lord, we don't want to go back, oh God, Lord, to the way we used to live, oh God, Lord, to the way we used to be, oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name, because you are called us to serve you, God, in Jesus' name. Let's worship the Lord. Like you mean it, you really mean it. Yes, so good Lord, in Jesus' name. 
God, Lord, in Jesus' name. So keep the fire burning, oh God. Keep the fire burning, oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes, 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 oh God, Lord. Keep the fire burning, oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, keep the fire burning, oh God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Worship the Lord. Continue to worship the Lord.
Jesus' name, whatever she's struggling right now, my Lord. This is it, Father, in Jesus' name. Continue to move upon her life, oh God, in Jesus' name. Yes, so good, Lord. Yes, so good, Lord. He saw her, Father, her situation, oh God, Lord. Jesus' name, 
In Jesus' name, yes, so good Lord. Yes, so good Lord. Hallelujah, good Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you glory, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, continue to worship the Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Touch the heart of good Lord. Touch her heart of good Lord. Her life, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, oh God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Touch his life, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. This is that Father. This is this heart of the Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. That he wants to serve you more, oh God, Lord. So, so keep the fire burning upon her heart. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. Keep the fire burning within him, oh God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I speak fire right now, oh God, Lord. More of you, oh God, Lord. Upon his life, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name. Touch his heart, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, you know the desire of his heart, oh God, Lord. You know the desire of his heart, oh God, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name. Right now, that is blocking him to serve you, oh God, Lord. Every backsliding spirit, I command you to live right now. In Jesus' name, backsliding spirit, live. Live right now. In Jesus' name, I speak healing right now. In Jesus' name, I speak healing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. Hallelujah, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. I speak healing, Father. Keep the fire burning. Oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name, keep the fire burning, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. Hallelujah, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. Keep the fire burning within her, oh God. In Jesus' name, we worship your Father. We worship your Father. In Jesus' name, we give you praise. We give you glory, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name. Continue to worship the Lord in Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit is moving right now. The Holy Spirit is still moving. If you will just open your heart. Hallelujah, good Lord. In Jesus' name, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah, good Lord. Continue to worship the Lord.
Thank you, Father, good Lord, in Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. Thank you, oh God, Lord, for your presence, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. Seal this deliverance, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. That no enemy, oh God, Lord, can steal it from us, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. Increase our faith, oh God. The boldness, oh God, Lord, upon our hearts, oh God. In Jesus' name, the excitement, oh God, Lord, to serve you. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name, oh God, Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, oh God, Lord. And we bring back all the highest praise, honor, glory, and thanksgiving to you alone. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.